Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Lavender. Lavender is an RPG Maker horror game that basically is a takeoff on the classic Rapunzel story. Once upon a time, there was a young woman pregnant with her first child. She was very nurturing and made sure to take good care of both herself and the unborn. One day, she was strolling through the forest. She had gone lost and became rather hungry. Worried about her baby, the woman tried to find something to eat. Soon she found a cottage in the woods with a modest garden next to it. There, several trees and shrubs bore delicious fruits. The woman let out a sigh of relief and walked up to the garden. There she picked several fruits and started to eat. However, the owner of the garden was not happy with the young woman's indulgence. You see, the garden was grown with the utmost care by, what, by the witch who lived in the cottage. She had witnessed everything through the window. Just when the expecting mother was about to eat a furred fruit, the witch approached her with a cold expression. How dare you eat from my garden! She snarled. Terrified, the trespasser vehemently apologized. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But it was too late. Make up for a grave mistake. I will require tribute. The expecting mother bowed her head. I, I don't have anything of value, I'm afraid. The witch pondered for a minute, then replied. Your baby. That will suffice. Wait, her baby? Yes. This witch was selfish and cruel. She acted in a way that can't be forgiven. But what happened to the baby? Well, maybe I'll tell you about that some other time. Okay. Don't look so sour. It's your birthday. I guess. Oh, before I forget. Happy birthday, Lavender. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to take good care of it. I'm glad you like it. This is the tower right now. Like, that's the witch. Oh, look at the time. I'm sorry, Lavender, but I have to go now. It's okay. I had fun. All right, I'll see myself out then. I'll come by for lunch around two. Until then. Later, mom. Or she's stuck in the tower and the mom visits her. The witch is like, your daughter must remain here, but you can visit all the time. Cause that'd just be mean if you did. It's such a nice day. From the top of my lonely tower. Am I present? It would be a shame if I didn't use it. Ah! Oh no. Oh no, 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 oh no! I... I dropped it. Mom will kill me. If this story is supposed to be a twist on Rapunzel, maybe it's gonna be the opposite. It'll be, she has to stay in the tower to protect herself from the witch, rather than the witch keeping her in the tower. Something like that. Mom will kill me. I... I have to get it back. Lavender. There's no way I can leave the tower for the window, unless I want to die quick death, that is. I'm not sleepy. I'd love to paint something, but now is not the time. I don't have to read now. The room doesn't need to be clean. The table is spotless. There's a long hair on the table. Pink hair. Found the bedroom table. Better keep multiple saves in case there's endings. Mom didn't lock the door? 
She usually does. I... Maybe I shouldn't. Well, here goes nothing. It's a puzzle here. Thought needs a little more time to grow. I'm not sure if that was a puzzle or what. I guess it is. Nurture. It's a painting of a mother and child. The book on the table reads, Three flowers reaching to the sky, one quite tall and brittle, one waiting with patience, and one quickly satisfied. One brittle. So if we do them in the wrong order, they get brittle. One, one, two. Apparently I did pretty well in this puzzle, considering. Did I get it? No, it's not fully grown yet. Got it. Who are we? Next level. Bastion. It's a painting of a tower. There's a book about chess. Basic of chess. Battlefield scenario where a battle takes place between two armies. Usually two colors of black and white. I already know how to play chess though, so is there a twist to this? The book on the table reads, Black searches for white. For black to move, they would close in. White hide away, hides away for safety. For white to move, they would certainly fall. Chess puzzles. Using the movement rules and general game flow of a game of chess. Puzzles have been made in past time. Now requires a second player. A common puzzle is putting down certain pieces that cause a checkmate, which is more like a traditional game of chess. Other puzzles require the player to put down other pieces. In a way that would make it impossible for any piece to directly capture another. The Rook. I think these are just actual. Let's just try doing the game first, see what happens. So. You know, the boards won't budge. The rook is going this way. And this way. It's a king, huh? So let's. Maybe it has to be done in a way where we don't capture the piece. Like this. Right now, the safe spots are right here. That's pretty easy, if you know the rules. It's a very long tower. Flee. It's a painting of two women, one big and the other. The book on the table reads, When harmony is broken, and interests collide, the slightest imbalance will tip the scale. It's time to tip the scales! So we have predators and herbivores. So we have to break harmony. Is that a boar or is that like a bear? So we just put the predators on one side, wow. 
Easy enough. Recess the puzzle. Push the block. Temptation. It's a painting of an idyllic garden. The book on the table reads, A greedy hand moves forward. Target marked for grabs. A rope brings back the cornered, and watch the line observes. So we gotta move you down here. This is a simple sliding puzzle. So we move that. You can't push it up here, see? So you gotta push you up here, and you push you up here, then there. There you go. Commitment. It's a painting of a wedding. I guess this might be the life of our parents. The book on the table reads, A bond forever. Sealed with golden rings. These hearts joined together. Their fingers now bound. A bond forever. Piece doesn't fit. I'm trying, let's feel around here. I'm trying to figure out the logic of this right now. Okay, that goes there. I think this is how this works. Like that, and then this would be... Here. And then you would be here. Is this is this all there is to a puzzle or am I misunderstanding something? Hmm. Okay. That would go there. This would go there. That would go there. You'd go there, right? Seems a little too simple. Ah, there's one. Something's off. Well, the only one that would fit here would be... You. Oh, I did this wrong. Here we go. Simple. No, too simple. What's the next puzzle? Future. It's a painting of a pregnant woman. Yeah, it is kind of like a life history. There is items scared on top of the table. The table reads, An embryo is forming. A flower blooms inside. Two insects crawling over. The fruit of life that grows. Now these eyes will open. Each limb grows one sharp blade. When these all mixed together, they're finally complete. An embryo. An insect. I guess it's the old order. I'm not sure if I did it right. No, let's go back. Egg. Flower. Ant. Fruit. Eye. Limb. Egg. Bud. Ant. Fruit. Eye. Claw. If this doesn't work, then it's multiples of certain things. Okay, then it's two ants, then. Egg. I right. 
Fruit. I said eyes. It could be two eyes. Got it. Now what? Beginning. It's a painting of three plants sprouting. The beginning of life. Three hearts have gathered. One hidden, one brave. They both feel desire. The third unaware. This is the brave one. I'm pretty sure. So that's either the hidden one or that's the one under the tree. Okay. Correct? No. I can't even move you anyway. So you were the hidden one, huh? Huh. Are we out? Hey, we're outside. Cool. My comb. Mom? Lavender. What are you doing out here? I- I'm sorry. I dropped my new comb out the window. I- I wanted to retrieve it before you get back. Is that so? Oh, Lavender. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm sorry. Don't be. I was just surprised, that's all. We should just get back inside, okay? Past all my crafty puzzles that I set up. Very specifically to keep you in. Okay. I brought lunch. Uh, thank you. Mama. The end? Was that it? No way. So there's no way that's that's all it is to the ending. We're missing something. The creator said like you could go throughout the entire game and not see any horror elements. What's this? There's long hair among the potion ingredients. Pink hair. Found the comb and found the bedroom table. Alright, there's definitely a secret here. Several nails driven to the trunk. Attach the pink hair to the nails. We gotta find more pink hairs. There must be one in each room. There's a long hair among the rings.
Maybe there's a ring up here and here somewhere. Maybe on the rope? There's a long hair wrapper on the rope. Long hair could go to the scales. Each room has a hair. Okay, there's a hair in this room. It's among the books. Among these books? It'd probably be around the king, the king book, if I would think of a hair. Here we go. Pink hair. Took around the books. Hair sticking on the pot's dirt. So we look at the journey here. Nurture. Mother and child. Tower. Plea. Too unbegging the other. A garden. A wing. Okay. Let's put him in. I think we got them all. Secret door. Now where are we? My mom is the witch. Where am I? We got you leave this way, see? It's a cage. It's empty though. It's either a good or a bad thing. What is this? It's a painting of a bald woman holding a baby. There's a silver key on the table. Obtain silver key. The witch? Can't save in this area. Blood. What's that? Animals, I guess. Swans? Weird. Looks like a diary. It reads, I couldn't do it. Even if they're not viable. They look too much like her. I just couldn't. And Lavender. She must never know what I did. Is she... Finding girls that look like me to give to the witch? Someone's still alive. What? What is this? This is... Nurture. Your color's red now. Mom? So it came to this. Mom, I... I don't understand. Why? Why this? I don't expect you to understand. Understand what? What is happening here? I'm sorry, Lavender. I don't think we will have any more birthdays together. Mom. Secret end. So that's it for Lavender. A very confusing end to me, probably the most confusing I've ever encountered. There's some kind of storyline here, and I, I went back for the game a few times to try to piece it together, and it's a big twist. And it's not just the mother stabbing, stabbing Lavender. There's some kind of other twist there. And I'm trying to decipher if 
See, I don't think your mother's the witch. I, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure of that. Your mom's not the witch. You're not trapped by the witch. It's supposed to be reversal. You're trapped by the mom. The question is, there's obviously clones in the basement. And you might be one of these clones, I guess. I don't... F so, and there's also a portrait of a uh, woman, I, well, I believe is a woman, bald. And if we go back to the original story of uh, Rapunzel, there is some variations where Rapunzel goes bald at the end. So, does that mean your mother is Rapunzel? And maybe she's cloning girls to try to get back her hair or something twisted like that? Um, I mean, you do collect pink hairs. That is a possibility. She does mention that the girl looks too much like her. That the girls look too much like her. And I don't think this refers to Lavender specifically, but all the girls in general. So maybe she had a daughter beforehand. Or, or it is the original mother from Rapunzel. And after giving Rapunzel away, she's trying to have her own daughter by making daughter clones. But I don't know why she's killing them then. So it's a little confusing. Um, but like I said, there's some twists there, there's something, there's some kind of key in the paintings that I can't figure out. There's not enough there for me to flesh this plot out. But if you guys have theories, feel free to chime in. Anyway, a overall, you know, it, it's a solid, solid RPG Maker game. Uh, the art is fine, the choice of music and everything, and the concept is fine. Too short. Too short for what it's trying to do. And like I said, it kind of ends a little bit too abruptly. If this was uh, a more stretched out story, and there was like hints of what's going on and everything, the, the twist at the end could have a lot more emotional impact. That's kind of my feeling of this. But I think this creator, I feel like this is this creator's first game, at least from what I can tell. So I'll definitely be checking out their like future games or anything, if they plan to make a uh, longer, full-fledged game or anything like that. Certainly a lot of potential there. Anyway, thank you all for watching me play Lavender. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.